Over two decades of space innovation, and yet the contrast couldn't be more striking. SpaceX has launched hundreds of rockets into orbit, revolutionizing space travel, while Blue Origin's vehicles have barely scratched the edge of space. So when NASA recently announced a major lunar contract awarding missions to both companies, the space community was stunned. The prize? Critical cargo delivery missions to the moon, a key piece in NASA's strategic plan to outpace China in the new space race. The stakes are astronomical. Blue Origin, with their yet-to-launch New Glenn rocket, will be responsible for delivering a lunar surface habitat. SpaceX's Starship will transport JAXA's pressurized rover. But with Blue Origin's track record of delays and unproven orbital capabilities, many are questioning NASA's decision. Should the space agency have put all their eggs in SpaceX's basket? Today on Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're breaking down NASA's bold bet on Blue Origin, analyzing what this means for the future of lunar exploration, and examining whether this two-company strategy could be the key to America's success in space. Let's dive right in. The announcement sent shockwaves through the aerospace industry, but what happened behind closed doors reveals an even more fascinating story. During a tense meeting at NASA headquarters in late 2023, a heated debate erupted between senior officials. One side championed SpaceX's proven track record, while others argued for nurturing competition. The stakes? Nothing less than America's future on the moon. The spotlight first turned to Blue Origin's journey, a tale of ambition meeting harsh reality. In the company's early days, Jeff Bezos would personally interview every engineer, sharing his vision of millions of people living and working in space. But 20 years and billions of dollars later, that dream remains stubbornly earthbound. Their new Shepard rocket, while successful in reaching the edge of space, became a symbol of the company's limitations rather than its potential. A former Blue Origin engineer speaking on condition of anonymity shared a telling detail. We had the orbital class New Glenn rocket designed before 2013, but perfectionism kept us grounded. Every time we approached a launch date, someone would find another system to optimize. This obsession with perfection, while admirable, left Blue Origin watching from the sidelines as SpaceX transformed space travel. Meanwhile, in Boca Chica, Texas, SpaceX was writing a different story. Their Falcon 9 rocket, initially dismissed by industry veterans as too ambitious, now dominates the launch market with 400 successful missions. But it's not just about numbers. Each launch represents a small revolution in space technology. The sight of two rocket boosters landing simultaneously during Falcon Heavy missions has become a symbol of SpaceX's innovative spirit. The plot thickened when details of New Glenn's capabilities emerged. Despite its delayed debut, this rocket promised to lift 45 metric tons to low Earth orbit, double the Falcon 9's capacity. Even more surprising was the projected launch cost, $67 million, slightly undercutting SpaceX's prices. This revelation sent tremors through the industry. Had Blue Origin been quietly developing a genuine Falcon 9 killer? But SpaceX had an ace up their sleeve, Starship. When recent updates revealed its true potential, over 200 metric tons to orbit, even veteran aerospace engineers were stunned. It's like comparing a cargo ship to a freight train, noted Dr. Sarah Chen, a space transportation expert at MIT. The scale is simply in a different league. The drama intensified when leaked documents revealed SpaceX's ambitious timeline. 400 Starship launches planned between 2025 and 2028. Industry analysts called it impossible. But then again, they said the same about landing orbital-class rockets on floating platforms. A pivotal moment came during congressional hearings on NASA's lunar program. When questioned about choosing Blue Origin for Artemis V, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson revealed an unexpected factor. Psychological research suggested that having multiple providers would boost astronaut confidence in lunar missions. The human element, often overlooked in technical discussions, had played a crucial role in the decision. The technical challenges ahead are daunting. SpaceX's Artemis missions require a complex ballet of orbital refueling, at least 15 Starship launches just to fuel one lunar mission. Each launch must be precisely choreographed with no room for error. 
Meanwhile, Blue Origin faces its own challenges, developing systems to safely land massive structures on the lunar surface. Inside Blue Origin, the NASA contract sparked a transformation. Jeff Bezos increased the company's lunar team budget by 300% and personally recruited top talent from competitors. A senior manager described the atmosphere. It's like someone lit a fire under the entire company. The days of endless optimization are over. Now it's about execution. The rivalry has spawned innovation in unexpected areas. Both companies are developing new materials for lunar habitats, advanced life support systems, and novel solutions for radiation protection. These developments are already finding applications on Earth, from more efficient solar panels to breakthrough water purification systems. The human story behind the technical achievements is equally compelling. At SpaceX, engineers work in shifts around the clock on Starship development. One team member shared how they solved a critical fuel transfer problem during a 3 a.m. brainstorming session fueled by coffee and determination. At Blue Origin, the pressure to deliver has created unlikely collaborations with veteran rocket scientists mentoring young engineers in marathon design sessions. The competition has also attracted international attention. China's space agency accelerated their own lunar program in response, while private companies worldwide are racing to develop supporting technologies. The space race has evolved from a government-led duopoly to a complex web of commercial and national interests. Looking ahead to 2030, when Blue Origin's first crewed lunar landing is scheduled, the stakes couldn't be higher. The mission will see two astronauts descend to the moon's south pole in Blue Origin's lander, marking either a triumphant validation of NASA's dual provider strategy or a costly lesson in space policy. Recent simulations of the lunar missions revealed unique challenges for each company. SpaceX's Starship must perfect its revolutionary heat shield design for lunar re-entry, while Blue Origin grapples with the precision landing systems needed for their habitat delivery mission. Each problem solved pushes the boundaries of human knowledge and capability. The impact extends beyond just lunar missions. These developments are creating new industries on Earth. A network of suppliers has emerged, developing everything from advanced materials to novel manufacturing techniques. Small towns near testing facilities are transforming into high-tech hubs, creating thousands of jobs and inspiring a new generation of engineers. The competition has even influenced education. Universities are updating their aerospace engineering programs to include courses on reusable rocket technology and lunar construction techniques. High school students are building increasingly sophisticated model rockets, inspired by the real-world space race unfolding before them. This situation has created an unprecedented moment in space exploration. Two drastically different approaches to the same challenge, each with its own merits and risks. NASA's bet on both companies isn't just about redundancy, it's about fostering an ecosystem of innovation that could fundamentally change humanity's relationship with space. As we look to the future of lunar exploration, NASA's decision to embrace both SpaceX and Blue Origin reflects a deeper truth. Innovation thrives on competition. While SpaceX's proven track record and revolutionary Starship design command respect, Blue Origin's methodical approach and ambitious New Glenn rocket could prove equally valuable for humanity's return to the moon. The real winner in this space race isn't either company, it's us. This dual provider strategy isn't just about redundancy or risk management. It's about fostering an ecosystem of innovation that will advance space technology faster than ever before. As these two aerospace giants push each other to greater heights, they're not just building rockets and landers. They're building humanity's future among the stars. The next few years will be crucial. As SpaceX aims for hundreds of Starship launches and Blue Origin prepares New Glenn for its debut, we'll witness either the validation of NASA's bold strategy or learn valuable lessons about the pace of space innovation. Either way, the journey promises to be extraordinary. If you're as excited as we are about this new chapter in space exploration, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours for the latest updates on this developing story. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think NASA made the right choice backing both companies? And don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay updated on all the latest developments in space exploration and technology. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Tale of the Descent. The preparation for Flight 6 has been intense. Booster 13, Ship 31's powerful companion for this mission, has already proven its readiness through rigorous testing. On October 24th, all 33 Raptor engines roared to life in a successful static fire test, sending shockwaves across Starbase. Ship 31 itself has overcome early challenges, including an electrical anomaly that required innovative solutions from SpaceX's engineering team. One of the most exciting developments we've uncovered is the addition of a new hot staging ring to Booster 13. This modification, visible in recent photos from Starbase, represents a significant evolution in Starship's launch sequence. The ring creates a controlled environment during stage separation, allowing Ship 31's engines to ignite while still attached to the booster, a technique that could improve payload capacity by up to 10%. The launch infrastructure has also received substantial upgrades. Following Flight 5's successful launch, SpaceX teams have reinforced the orbital launch mount with additional water deluge systems and improved flame deflectors. These modifications are designed to handle the enormous forces generated by 33 Raptor engines firing simultaneously, equivalent to the thrust of 16 fully loaded 747 aircraft. Looking beyond Flight 6, SpaceX is already preparing for an accelerated launch campaign. Booster 14 and Ship 33 are being readied for Flight 7, incorporating lessons learned from previous missions. Ship 33 will be the first to fly with the upgraded Raptor 2.5 engines, promising even better performance and reliability. The pace of development at Starbase is unprecedented. Inside the massive Star Factory, two nose cones for future ships are taking shape. Through the facility's windows, we can see the fuel tank sections for Ship 37 moving along the assembly line. This production capability is crucial for SpaceX's ambitious goal of achieving 25 launches from Starbase alone by 2025. The expansion isn't limited to Texas. Construction is accelerating at Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A, where a second Starship launch site is taking shape. Drawing on lessons learned from Starbase, this Florida facility will feature improved catch tower designs and enhanced ground support equipment. This dual-site capability is essential for achieving the high launch frequency needed for future missions to Mars. But perhaps the most tantalizing detail comes from SpaceX's Thermal Protection Development Team. They're working on a next-generation tile design that combines the durability of current tiles with improved reusability characteristics. Early prototypes have shown promising results in plasma wind tunnel tests, potentially allowing for even more optimization of Starship's heat shield coverage. The modifications to Ship 31's heat shield represent more than just an engineering change. They signal SpaceX's confidence in their understanding of re 